Alright, latest two modifications you might want to try. First one here, is I'm going to put an extension on this handle. I'm sick of this tiny little handle. Wind it quicker. If you're doing a facing or something like that, much better, much quicker. Took me a bit of stuffing around. There's a dodgy looking prototype. No, not enough strength in it. So, that went to the bin. I've come up with this. Now, I'll just drop that spanner. Alright, that's part of it. Alright, it goes on and off. Clamps on. It's about two and a half, three mil plate. Bit of, a, bit of an effort to bend it, but well worth it. So hopefully you can see, got to make it in one piece. Right. Yeah, it's not real square, but it fits on. Right. Right, I'm just going to re-put that at the top for making it look good. Put it on about halfway. You don't have to cover the increments. You can still see them. And then open it there. One, two, and that's it. So that works a lot better. Uh, you may want to try that. The other thing as well, you may notice I've now got a drive on my carriage. So I've got a lead screw. Now this lead screw is off a 3D printer. It's an 8mm thread. It's got four, it's a four start thread. Alright, so it's a right hand thread. First I thought they were left. Big boo boo. So no, they're a right hand thread, but because of that, you actually have to go down here and I've got an idler gear that drops it down. And it drops it down from direction but also drops it down in speed and movement so it's not as harsh if you got it direct it moves too fast so that worked out i had to actually make those little gears myself couldn't find any so they're being filed all out of aluminium 34 teeth and 18 teeth all right so it works a lot better smooth you can see down here you fit your little nut I'll try and grab the camera now to some in for you. So there you've got your uh, actual nut coming around. There's the gearing. As I say, 34 and 18 teeth. There's a little handle I made for it. You'll see the machining of it in a couple of minutes after this. And little handle I put in. It's able to find a tiny little ball bearing racer so that actually spins if you can see in there there's a little racer but uh, hopefully you got the idea there took a bit of effort had to actually mount it off the box that it's actually based on so uh, there's that little handle again if you can get it as I say you can see the increments they're still there so uh, um, yeah, if you want, and then somehow I jagged myself a little anti-backlash nut. Got plasti bond, two-piece plastic, two-part plasti bond. Made up a little nut. I made that out here. All right, so I was able to take it off, cleaned it up, machined it up. I wound it on, and I don't know if I've jagged it or what, but when I pulled it on tight, it took away all the uh, slack. So I put a bit of glue on it, good old Araldite, and the thing's stuck there and, well, backlash is gone. So, um, I don't know, <laughs> I think I jagged that, but all in all, two improvements that I am finding much more usable, user friendly, uh, one and two, and uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, recommend you trying this. Well, if you want. Alright, another video in a second showing you the thing working. Alright, good luck.
go, but you can see it's quicker.